everyone, welcome back to class. In this week's module, we are going to take a look at chapter 11 in the Electrical Principles and Practices textbook. In this chapter, we are going to take a look at circuit conductors, connections, and different types of protection devices. You can see that there are a lot of topics in this chapter. Some of them we will spend some time on and others we will kind of breeze through. So let's go ahead and get started with this week's module. Electrical circuits and components are connected using conductors. A conductor is a material that has very little resistance and permits electrons to move through it easily. Conductors include wire, cable, and cord. As you can see from the graphic on the screen, there are many different types of conductors that can be used in our circuit. With wire, we can have just single strand conductors that could either be solid or they could be stranded. They come in different wire sizes. We have armored cable, which has a aluminum jacket around the outside, which is flexible. This is used for dry locations and power distribution and wiring lighting circuits where we want to protect the cable from damage. Then we have the non-metallic sheath cable or Romex. This is the type of wire that is used in the wall uh, to connect outlets and uh, lights and other devices uh, back to your circuit breaker panel. Then we have coax cable, so that's for your TV. Uh, cable connections, uh, ribbon cable is used in computer and other uh, low voltage communication devices. And we have our telephone cable, which distributes telephone uh, signals. 